Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire, recovered from my short illness, which actually <laughs> put me off the scene for a little while. <laughs> but uh, I'm back and I'm smiling again. Uh, two weeks to France, I'm going away to France for a little while for some respite. Anyway, uh, I'm in my favourite number one office, uh, the Oyster Rooms, which is a Weatherspoons in Fulham Broadway. About to recite, it's catch up again. I've got three poems uh, to do this morning before it gets busy. The first one is um, Murder by Default. It's my new book. Here you go. It's uh, becoming a very hypocritical. They tell you not to murder whilst all the time. Um, they slowly strangle me and others to death and make us cap in hand and beg for our benefits. There you go. Murder by default. There was no single person's finger that could be blamed for pulling the trigger. No execution by hanging, firing squad or otherwise. No Russian mafia style attack, no lion's den, nor was there any rush to employ a covert assassin. There were subtleties involved, carefully thought out and perfected over time, far and above the imagination of most. But this was something different from the creators of internment and concentration camps, the inventors of mental torture, the authors of due process comes murder by default. A true story that logic will never allow your mind to believe. No need for gory violence, no devil's island required, just a new method of slow strangulation without the need for hands nor rope. Murder by default, where the meek and the poor will be processed and duly eradicated leaving no outward signs of any crime having been committed. A master plan where a life is slowly snuffed, leaving only the silenced soul behind. The evidence lost in bureaucratic dogma, the paper trail so thin so as to provide nothing but a vague, blurred account of the calculated happenings. A slow but reliable process designed to eliminate without blood or fuss, not dissimilar to poison, an almost clandestine assault on the wit's end of some unfortunate soul. Carefully designed to inflict heartbreak and deprivation, a catalyst for maximum stress intended to exterminate when finally the stress created becomes overwhelming. To see the intended victim enter the cul-de-sac, a trap from which there is only one exit. Suicide, to be explained as an unfortunate incident, though considering the victim's mental state of mind, was a tragic outcome that was always a possibility and far beyond the government's re remit of responsibility. However, their sincere sympathies are extended to the loved ones and friends at this time of sadness. Joey Joe McGuire. Murdered by my own, uh, by my own. Murdered by my own.